Hello. In this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on doing web scraping using wget. Web, web scraping is when you download a website from the internet and then save a local copy on your own computer. This allows you to archive the website so that you can preserve it for the future. It allows you to browse the site offline, so if you're on an airplane or somewhere without internet, and it allows you to more easily write programs to read and analyze that website. So you could use a scraped website as training data for training a large neural network, or you could search through a bunch of scraped websites to build your own miniature search engine, or some other idea you've come up with. And I think the web archiving especially is very important. Um, there's a saying that you'll hear, which is, everything online is forever. And this has some truth to it. So if you post something dumb online, it can follow you around for the rest of your life. But in general, the internet is actually very much not forever. The internet lives on expensive servers that someone has to maintain somewhere. Or even if it's downloaded offline on a flash drive, someone has to keep track of that flash drive, make sure it doesn't get destroyed or lost or anything like that. And Actually, a lot of the internet turns over pretty quickly. Things go up, and then they're down within a year or two. Um, so a good example, if you go back in the Hacker News archive, there are you can look at the front page of Hacker News from like five or ten years ago, and you can look at all the links. And I would say maybe even a majority of them are now dead. And some of those pages may have been archived. There are some big archiving ac um, groups. But my guess is that a lot of those have just been totally lost to time. No one will ever read them again. And so that's another reason why I think the scraping is so important. That if there's a lot of great content that's been published on the internet, and a lot of it is on track to just be totally lost. So if people can archive some of this, I think this has tremendous uh, utility both for us today and for people in the future. And fortunately, web scraping is made very easy, at least if you're doing basic web scraping, by wget. So wget is a Linux utility that's easy to install and use. Um, on Debian-based distributions, you can install wget with sudo apt install wget. Um, I, of course, already have it installed, so it didn't have to do anything. And then, by default, what wget does is it will just download whatever link you give it. So, for example, if I download my web page here, www.argosopentech.com, you can see it saved my index.html to this file here. So, this is my home page. But just the um, the HTML file itself. So none of these resources were saved. So as you can see, that's why I added these other flags. So I have three flags here. I have recursive. And so that will not only download the link you pass it, but it will recursively follow all of the links on that web page, which allows you to scrape an entire website. So if I enter my base, the base URL to my website, wget will recursively search all of the links until it's scraped the entire site. The second link here is, or uh, parameter here is page requisites. So that will download a local copy of all the other resources you need to display a page. So instead of just downloading the HTML file, it'll download all the CSS, the images, the JavaScript, or any other files that have been linked. And then this last parameter is kind of optional. Um, this is the convert links parameter. And what this does is if there's a link in your website that points to some domain on that website itself, instead of continuing to point that to that domain, it'll make the link relative so that you have a working offline archive of the website where all the links work internally. So if you click on a link in your offline archive, you're directed to another file in your offline archive instead of being directed to the live website, which if this is an archive may have gone down a long time ago. And so that's really all it takes. And then I've packaged this in this script, scrape.sh. So I can just do scrape.sh and then enter my website. 
and my whole website gets scraped here. And you can see wget has created this directory in my current directory, www.argosopentech.com. And so I'm going to disconnect from the internet. So this is just an offline um, archive now. And here you go. I've indexed.html. These are some of the directories in my website. And I can just open up this offline archive with a normal web browser. And because I've done this fixed links, I can click on the links. And then this continues to point to my offline archive. I can do the other pages on my site. And everything works. The images come through. It looks exactly like my live website does, but it's an offline copy. Um, some other commands you can look at passing to wget are the limit rate. Um, this will limit how many bytes per second wget will download, or you can put a weight uh, parameter. You can set the weight parameter to set a number of seconds between requests. And this can be very important, especially if you're scraping someone else's site. Um, you want to be careful not to waste a ton of their bandwidth. So if you are planning to make an archive that you're going to store for months or years, maybe it is worth uh, using a lot of someone else's bandwidth so that you can download their entire site. Um, but if you're just experimenting, you can just use a small website. Uh, you can use mine. I only have a couple of pages and don't get too much traffic. Um, but just be careful and potentially use this weight or limit if you are scraping someone else's website. Um, one last thing, if you're interested in web archiving in general, I've recently begun seeding this GeoCities torrent. Uh, GeoCities was a website kind of before my time. It looks like it shut down in 2009, um, which essentially let normal people just spin up a quick static website. And there's this torrent available on academictorrents.com where you can download an archive of this site that was taken in 2009. Um, so this is a good way to just preserve this internet culture for the future and make sure that there is an archive of this somewhere that's accessible to everyone. Thanks for watching.